Wow, how colorful it is. These are the uliens which we get from sheep. Fiber to fabric. In this chapter, we are going to see about two animals. Uh, we can consider one as insect itself. Uh, from these two animals, we are going to get the fibers to prepare the fabric. And how we are going to get the fiber from this, we will learn with the different steps or the processes involved. So, uh, which are those two animals? One is we are getting wool from sheep. So, in the order, the processes involved are rearing, breeding, wool processing. In wool processing, we have several other steps also. They are shearing, scoring, sorting, burst picking, drying, dyeing and yarn. Whereas in silkworms, from silkworm we are getting silk. Oh. Oh. Wool on the body of the sheep looks like this before shearing it. So there are different types of sheep, different breeds of sheep which give us wool whose qualities always differ in their structure as well as the color. So in silkworm we are finding the several steps in which we are going to study about life cycle of silk moth which is the basic cause of this silk fabric and the process is known as sericulture where we process the silk rearing silkworms, processing silk and reeling silk. So these things we are going to learn in this chapter. To take care of their growth and development for getting healthy sheep to get give a good product, good quality of wool. Breeding is to get more number of sheep to get the good production of more wool. Start with wool. So wool is a product which we get from sheep. So it is sheep that gives us wool. This is a fiber we get from an animal. You know that and we get fiber from animals also and plants also. But this wool is this thing that is the fiber which we are getting from an animal that is sheep. So what is the mean of, meaning of rearing and breeding of sheep? Rearing means when she, we give care and shelter for a sheep to grow. That is called as rearing. And what is breeding? When a suitable environment is provided for the reproduction of the animals, we call it breeding. So next is wool processing. So what is the meaning of processing? Where wool processing is the step by step procedure followed by us to extract wool from the sheep till the production of wool fabric is called as wool processing. So this is the picture that shows you how the shearing of wool from the body of the sheep is done without hurting the sheep. So it is clearly taken out like a haircut or the nails from her body how it happens which is an extra growth. In the same way wool is the extra growth which is removed periodically for the use and manufacture of wool. It's removal of fleas from the body of the sheep using a device means how we cut off our nails from our body and how we cut our hairs from our head which is not needed. In the same way shearing also takes place which doesn't hurt the sheep in any way. Then comes our next process, the step of our next process that's scoring. Scoring means the method of cleaning the extracted fleas by washing to remove dirt, dust and grease present in the fleas which have been just removed by the means of shearing that will be cleaned in the scoring process.
This is the process where scoring is done in the process bath. Rinse water uh, scoring means the cleaning of wool by washing out the dirt, then oily structure, dust, everything from the raw wool. This is the process bath where it actually takes place. When do uh, with the help of water flow, it is rinsed, then scoring is done, then the rolls are squeezed. Afterwards, it has been taken for the sludge disposal and the unwanted particle that is effluent discharge and rinsed water will also be discharged where the all the greasy part, dust and dirty particles will be taken out of the wool, the raw wool which is taken, squeezed, sorry. Now, sorting, sorting of wool. Here, segregation of hairs according to its te texture, that is smoothness, splits, damages and poplins, all this will be segregated, that is separated and they have kept aside in different types of wool, where come, there are some which is having only smooth one of fibers and some are rough fibers so they are separated in sorting process so what we call as poplin for the cloths it is also called as burrs which is a small fluffy fibers which should also be removed otherwise it will create some more roughness in the wool then comes our dyeing process which is a process of coloring the fibers as we need when we need different colors of cloth also we do the same dyeing process to make it the cloths colorful so dyeing is a process of coloring the fibers as we need dyeing means the coloring of wool takes place in this manner both in large scale as well as small scale where the required color dye is color or dye is liquefy liquid dye is used to color the raw wool after it has been cleaned and rolled straightened and rolled into yarn like the reels of a thread we have in our sewing machine and how we sieve the cloths by the use of threads in the same way big big uh, pipe rolls of uh, cardboards will be used and these fibers of wool will be rolled on it yarn is the weaved yarn is then weaved into fabrics the threads is all the yarn is also called as the thread and croquette knitting macram Arts are the form of conversion of yarn into crafty items. Sweaters, caps, baby socks, etc. are the other examples of fabric that will be weaved into the fabric of wool. These are the instruments used when required to combine and comb the wool after it has been cleaned neatly with all the burrs it is cleaned and the dust as well as the oily the greasy particles from the wool when it is needed to rolling before rolling the combing of wool will be done using these types of hand tools or the same types of machines are also available after combing and cleaning comb, cleaning and combing the wool is rolled in this manner using some rules of, and also when it is dyed colored then it looks like this so beautiful different types of saris then blouse pieces shirt pieces and remaining other fa other kinds of fabrics and variation of silks these are the different products manufactured by the use of silk eye masks regular masks purses pouches handbags 
Now let us see the next insect which gives us the fiber that is silkworm. This insect or the animal is the source of silk which is called silkworm. Hindus mostly in all religious and grand functions prefer to wear silk saris. Its texture, design, brightness cannot be beaten by any other fabrics. It is very precious and religious also. Let us know now how we can get silk by small creature like silkworm or silk moth. It's a life cycle with different steps. The first stage is called as egg stage where number of eggs is laid by the silk moth and then it goes to the next step that is larvae stage in which one stage itself it has got different phases that phases is called as instar first instar second instar third instar and fourth instar next is the resting phase where it prepares its own cocoon and lies inside the cocoon that is resting phase then is pupa stage where it starts its organs to develop then comes the adult stage which gradually turns into the silk moth and breaks down the cocoon and flies away so we are seeing seeing here different instar i told you uh, the instar is the phase between two molting processes of the insect larva where the larva turns into a worm shape during resting phase of internal organs development when actually the internal organs develop inside the cocoon when it is in resting stage and sessile in this it is also a resting phase when their organs starts de developing in this stage sessile means the insect doesn't move also when it is inside the cocoon then comes the process the name of the process which involve all this and taken care of this all the processes of the about described life cycle of silkworm is managed and taken care that occupation is called as sericulture the mulberry plants leaves or these creatures only food during their development they eat the leaves of mulberry plants and grow well when they take the food of after taking the mulberry plants leaves and they grow very well cocoon is the main source of the silk culture the main source which is involved in the silk culture is cocoon this cocoon is thus collected silk threads or as strong as steel threads the cocoon when it is dispersed in boiling water it leaves all the threads then one end of the thread is found and that will be made to roll on a reels here cocoons are put in the hot water which loosens the long silk threads which are stronger than steel threads loosened threads of many such cocoons are wound into yarns and rolled by machines so weaving is takes place in this process also as we have seen in wool how we weave it by different processes but here weaving takes place in a different process different style so weaving is the final process to convert silk threads into fabric when we have studied today about fiber to fabric of about wool and silk processing reeling creating yarn and how its extraction dyeing cleaning and this life cycle of silkworm all these things so uh, let us meet in the next video till then have a nice day be healthy stay at home stay happy